happy Monday, friends. While the sun isn't quite peeking out yet this morning, it is officially summer here in Yosemite because Tioga Pass is open for the season. And this week, we're visiting the largest lake in Yosemite National Park. Join me at Tenaya Lake. As we get started this week, I just want to take a moment to grab the guy who's normally behind the scenes. Come here, Nate. <laughs> so, Nate takes almost all the photos you see on the blog. But not only is he an incredibly gifted photographer, he is a skilled designer. And we have something special to celebrate this week. What's going on? We are shooting our National Park products. That's right. So, the shirts we're wearing were designed by... This guy right here. And I would say that um, our love of national parks really started here in Yosemite, didn't it? Absolutely, it was the first park we went to together. Yeah, we're really excited. So um, in the description of this video, we'll have the link to our Etsy shop. Make sure to check it out, give it some love. And now let's go explore the lake together. Let's do it. Tenaya Lake was named after Chief Tenaya, a prominent chief of the native people who long called this place home before being driven out by the Mariposa Battalion. But this lake's original name given by the native people was much different and it meant Lake of Shining Rocks. Now on this gloomy day you might not be able to tell but that name is certainly fitting here. Stretching over a mile long, Tenaya Lake is believed to have been formed by Tenaya Glacier, the same glacier that created Yosemite's iconic Half Dome. And sitting at over 8,100 feet above sea level, this lake is considered one of the most beautiful lakes inside this national park. And you get to watch Tenaya Creek flow into the lake here. John Muir wrote about this lake in chapter six of my first summer in the Sierra. He said, up and away to Lake Tenaya, another big day, enough for a lifetime. I tend to agree. You can actually access the lake here at lots both on the north end and the south end. And picnicking, kayaking, and swimming are all popular activities here. And photography. <laughs> You can easily hike along the side of the lake in about three miles. Just make sure you plan your visit here in summer or fall. When Route 120 closes for the winter, this spot would not be easily accessible. Whether you make this a quick stop on your way down to Yosemite Valley or you spend all day enjoying the sights and sounds, Tenaya Lake is a must stop Yosemite visit. I have a feeling in a week or two, this lake is gonna be beautiful, but the clouds have turned into a little bit of a late season storm. However, that means you get the lake all to yourself. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much for joining us this week in Yosemite. And for more information on this spot, see my full Tenaya Lake blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. And don't forget to check out our Etsy products. That's right, you can find these shirts right there. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. We so appreciate it. And until next time, both Nate and I wish you adventure, adventure and encouragement wherever, wherever you go. go. Bye. Bye.